Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new, here is a quick rewind. Quick rewind. Okay, so I got a free car. <laughs> that was my dream car from my good friend. The car was abandoned and sat for 15 years in the garage. I brought it home, I got it started and it was moving, but after the first sketchy test drive, I found out that the suspension was mostly gone. So I decided to work on it. After the disassembly, I found some sketchy uh, spots that I needed to cut and weld, so I did that. Uh, then I changed the rear uh, drum brakes for uh, disc brakes that I took out of my Passat. And I also did all of the front suspension. And last week we had a proper test drive. Everything was good until this happened. And another issue appeared. This part of the exhaust was sitting on the rear beam uh, when it was on the ground. So it would be loud. <laughs> there is a <laughs> connection. It, this middle part connects to the, to the front part right here. So I undid one bolt. It's all loose, I have to tilt it. Yeah, it has to be like that, exactly. See, the clearance now. And I have to do the same thing with the uh, rear end, which is here. It was super hard to get it out. Okay, so everything is back on its place. And we have much more clearance now. So I'm happy about that, but there is a leak over there so i will uh, torque it quite a bit and we are almost ready oh man it's tight here oh no you didn't i over torqued it so that's good. <laughs> Great news. Okay, about that oil leak that we have from the over torqued uh, bolt <laughs> in the oil, uh, oil pan. So I was looking for the whole oil pan. I wanted to buy a new, a new one and it is impossible to get it. I was looking locally in the parts stores and uh, uh, all around the internet and nope. <laughs> so a package just came. There is a solution, I think, for that. And this is a set for that kind of situation. It looks like that. And it simply re-threads the thread in the oil pan for a bigger one. So now I have a nut M14, I believe, and this is M15. This is the only solution that I came up with. I also have a new gasket for the oil pan. And I forgot that we need the LR filter. <laughs> it doesn't go that hard, I think. We'll see. Okay, let's get to work. Yes. Whoa. Okay. That was unexpected. Okay, let's see.
brand new thread. I think we did it. Good job. Let's see. It looks like it looks like it's perfect. Okay, so now it's time to get out the, the oil pan. It looks great. <laughs> Holy crap! It works. It's not tightened, so it's still leaking, but uh, it's in. The thread looks amazing, uh, and it's even the right angle. So I'm happy super happy about that okay so now we will have to undo this nut and all of these around the oil pan to to take it out there we go okay so here we have the engine inside. It looks good to me. Yeah, that was a really good idea to take it apart, to take it off the car. So the mission for now is to clean it inside and outside, clean uh, uh, the bolts and put it on the car. A friend of mine uh, suggested that I should also take this part out of the engine. I won't tell you the name of it because I simply don't know it, but uh, I know that it sucks oil from oil pump. So, you won't believe what I found. <coughs> Do you remember <laughs> that red silicone? It's probably my fault because I scrubbed it and it fell inside of the engine but look at that there are chunks of metal here wait i don't know if this is a normal side uh, or not but it looks like that so i took it all apart this was clogged up but it's not anymore it's cleaned this is how it looks after after the cleaning no more chunks of metal That's one side this is the other side I'll take it. Okay, I'm ready to put it back in the car. We got it all cleaned, the old gasket is gone. I also cleaned this area because it was full of uh, sand mixed with uh, used oil. So... Done. Everything is in place, torqued. So now we can refill it with the oil and check for the leaks. Do I spy with my good looking eye that we have half of engine bay missing again? So it was leaking from here. So this is where the oil, oil filter housing, housing uh, sits. And it was leaking from here. So I had to remove the oil filter, which sits on the bottom of this, because there is a boom a seal here so i thought that i need to replace that there was this nut missing it bolts these two parts together and it was impossible to get it so i had to steal it from my other car so the plan 
for now is to get rid of that gasket over there. I have a new one here. Clean those parts and put it back using these three bolts. You know what I see guys? I see a complete assembled engine bay. Everything is connected, tightened. There is a new fuel line. The last step is right here. So I think it's time to start it using uh, its own fuel tank. Just like that, impossible, back to life. All of that was unexpected so posting a video last week i thought that this is the end that uh, today is going to be a grande finale but nope <laughs> uh, but it's okay we've got it all fixed i've learned a ton of new stuff so uh, so i'm happy about that uh, and that is it for today like comment and, su and subscribe and see you next week guys bye